There's only one place that you can see four wide drag racing in the entire country. Lucky for you, it's really not far away. Just a short drive for yeah. everybody. It's at Z Max Dragway. They're ready to host the four wide nationals next weekend. Now, earlier this week, 2014 Funny Car champ Matt Hagen, he joined me on the Got Game set to break down what you can expect out in Concord. What a drag race. 4 0 1 1. Matt Hagen wins it. Matt, let me ask you first, what makes Z-Max Dragway such a fun place for you to race? Uh, you know, Z-Max is awesome. Obviously, the facility is great. Bruton Smith has done a great job there. Uh, but, you know, to be able to come out here in front of your friends and your family and mm -hmm. just everybody else and, and share that experience, especially when you win, you know, and I'm kind of, I, I consider Z-Max to be my home track, you know, and it's, uh, it's really cool to win in front of the hometown crowd. Looking at your history at Z-Max Dragway, it's really a love-hate relationship. You love it because you've won there three times. You actually are the first driver to ever run under four seconds there. But hate it because your car has blown up a few times there, and that puts on a show within itself. Why such extremes either to do really well or... Not yeah, so you know, these cars are 10,000 horsepower over 300 miles an hour, and we're covering the 1,000 foot track in under four seconds. So, a lot, of hap a lot of stuff happened, a lot of stresses on the motor, a lot of stresses on the car. Um, you know, anything can happen when you drive a car like that, and, and most of the time it does, you know. And, and unfortunately, uh, you know, we, we've had some thrills and spills when we made the highlight reels, but it's been. Uh, been one of those deals where we try to stay away from doing that and you know so far so good this year we've been able to win two of the three races um, you know we're just out here hunting hard but the biggest thing is that we, we come back to Z-Max in the fall to race for the countdown for the championship and that's what we really want to focus on is a, that towards the end of the year. I'm sure though the weather plays a little bit of a difference when you're talking the springtime versus the fall time. So what things can you get at a racing when you're here at Z-Max in the spring that can help you towards that championship run in the fall? Yeah, definitely the data that we collect on that uh, those runs are going to be crucial for the fall runs. Um, you know, what's cool about the spring is that it's a four wide race. So it's the only time you're ever going to get to see 40,000 horsepower go down the racetrack at one time. Uh, it's just, it's incredible the shock wave that hits you. I mean, every organ in your body vibrates. So uh, if you haven't been out, it is a uh, promise worth the experience. I mean, TV's great, but it's, you got to come see it in person. And uh, it just, I can sit here and tell you uh, until I'm blue in the face how cool it is. But I promise you, if you come out, you, you'll definitely walk away with a great experience. So it's a lot of fun. Now, where does Z-Max rank among all the other drag strips that you go to across the country? I'm assuming because of this, you know, being able to be four wide, all going at the same time, it's got to be relatively high. Oh, absolutely. You know, Z-Max is uh, obviously the best of the best facilities. Um, the the air is going to be great. It's always cool in the spring. It's always cool in the fall when we're here. Uh, you know, so we make a lot of horsepower out there. And that track is so good that we're able to apply that horsepower to the racetrack and turn over some really big numbers. Uh, I think, you know, ho hopefully next weekend uh, there'll be an opportunity to maybe set a national record. Make sure to check out Matt and the rest of the field run at Z-Max Dragway Friday, March 27th through the 29th. This is the only four-lane concrete drag strip in the entire world.